Hello everyone, welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D. Another uh, modeling tool we're going to talk about is Mesh to Surface. Uh, we have this door panel that has been damaged. Uh, we were required to model this one-to-one. -one. Um, so what we did is basically clean up the mesh and then we did some mesh repair and then we start to aligning the part to world coordinate system in the meshed surface. Then we start extracting main planes, uh, surfaces, and extract edges, uh, and then sketch entities. And then we started creating sketch profiles. One of the most important thing is how we extract the geometry. Uh, we can do it in a multiple uh, fashion. One is we can use the, the mesh data itself or we can do sketches. Uh, in this case I use the planes and then start to drawing lines and then extruding these lines and then on top of that start to adding more geometry and then taking into consideration the part is not really perfect so I wanted to make it perfect. If you look at the uh, design anal analysis when we compare the part uh, you can see that there's a deviation. So I'm going to scroll it down really fast it's just it took me at least about an eight hours to do this model so there's a lot of surface modeling, a lot of surface knitting, a lot of surface cleaning, uh, trimming uh, requires uh, something complex like these so uh, it's not an easy one button fix, obviously, and you're going to have to take your time and then analyze it and making sure that you are capturing every geometry that you need. Um, if you look at it, I got a really good result from my initial design concept, and, and then I continue building my models on top of each other. It was one of the hardest part, uh, knitting the surfaces together in some areas, but I managed to extrude and trim it and create bodies, extract the bodies, and things like that. It's very useful. So, and this is our quick tip of the week. Uh, if you have come across that hard geometries and you want to maintain the accuracy um, there are a lot of different tools in mesh to surface that you can use collaborate with solidworks and thanks for watching and wish you guys a happy new year thank you